they're not a people who are content to simply wake up in the morning and go to work after having your roti chanai and work all day and face the traffic and come back in the evening, sit down, have dinner and watch television and go to sleep. Those are the cattle. The cattle. But there are others, men and women, who think and they want to understand. They're not cattle. Such people would ask, did this happen by accident? Or is there an explanation for the emergence of modern Western civilization? Modern Western civilization has as its foremost thinker and scholar presenting its view on history in the person of a German philosopher of history whose name was Friedrich Hegel. And there's a long line and a straight line from Friedrich Hegel to Francis Fukuyama. Hegel was of the view that history proceeds and history advances with the emergence of a thesis which is then challenged by an antithesis, opposites. And the clash of the two results eventually in their being synthesized, coming together in a synthesis which represents advance of civilization. And so mankind is constantly moving in a direction which is progressive. The Christian view was regressive, going down. The Jewish view is similarly regressive, going down from the golden age. But this Western view is linear, straight line, but progressive, advancing. So every age that comes supersedes the age which came before it. And every age that comes represents advancement in human progress. And since modern Western civilization came after Judaism and Christianity and Hinduism and Buddhism and Islam, the implication is that Modern Western civilization has synthesized all that came before it and has now advanced beyond traditional religion. A new world has come now beyond old time and old fashioned religion. I think you have a, a coffee in um, KL, it's called Old Town Coffee. Old town coffee. So, old time religion. And so, modern Western civilization is of the fervent view that religion has now been superseded. That religion, the religions of the world, are merely tolerated, but they have no role to play in what remains of history. The religions now exist in the museums of history, <laughs> including Islam. And so a new world emerges a world of politics where modern Western civilization presents to you 
political philosophy, a political system, a model of a state. And mankind is required to abandon, abandon all that they had previously, including the Khilafah, <laughs> and embrace this new model, which has come from modern Western civilization. What you had before now belongs to the museum. It has no role to play in the future of history. Modern Western civilization therefore gave to the world political secularism. Political secularism. Meaning, yeah, God no longer has a role to play in politics. I wish I could spend another 15 or 20 minutes on modern Western civilization, but then we would never end the lecture. But I do want to tickle your intellect and force you to think that this actor has not appeared on the stage of history by accident. This act of modern Western civilization has been craftily designed like nothing else in history. This civilization has been designed to glitter like gold from the outside. Like nothing has glittered in history. A um, modern scientific and technological revolution which is still unfolding and which has the capacity to change the whole world overnight. No PhD in marketing could do it. Ten years ago, hardly anyone had a cellular phone. Ten years ago. This must be a marketing genius that within a short span of ten years, you now have cellular phones in the hand of every maid, huh? every workman, and some of them have two and three cellular phones. And where you thought that probably the fellow had a headache, what say he had his hand here? No, 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 it's not a headache. He, the fellow is talking to somebody. You sit down for dinner. And while you're sitting down for dinner, this fellow has a te telephone call. And you're eating and you're hearing all about the business transaction he's making and so on. They don't even have the manners to excuse themselves and have their conversation privately. Or switch off the stupid thing while you're eating. <laughs> so we now have the ethics of the cellular phone. <laughs> who are those who have some, some manners? <laughs> who are those who have no manners? You pick up the phone and you can call Chicago from your dining table where yesterday it took six months for a ship to take the letter. Six months. And then after that you had to go and book a call and wait for hours before you could get your call to Chicago or send something called a telegram. Who sends telegrams anymore? Huh? Modern Western civilization is changing the world in a way that nothing ever in history can compare. Who uses a ship anymore to travel? Who your father travel with a ship to go perform the Hajj? Your grandfather used to go by ship to London. Huh? 
ask them, 